Okay, so today we are going to log into our AET website. We created already the account information because we went into the ILAG website yesterday or earlier today and completed that. So we already did our ILAG login and profile creation. So we watched that video and we were able to follow those directions and completed that login. Now, we are going to log into the AET and create our AET profile. All right, so remember that my username is the first letter of my first name, capitalized, and along with my last name, and that first letter, again, should be capitalized. And then my password is gonna be the same exact thing. I also need to know my chapter number, and my chapter number is capital IL0051. If for some reason you can't log in, just shoot me an email at jlse at wilcoacc.org. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the AET login. Your chapter information will not automatically come up. This is what you're going to see, but it will bring you to the login page. So again, for chapter number, it's capital I, capital L, 0051. My username, again, is going to be the capital letter of my first name, followed by my last name, and that is also capitalized. So you can see J is the first letter of my first name, A is the first letter of my last name, and both of those are capitalized. All I need to do now is copy and paste that information into my password. So your password will be the same exact for your username. And again, as long as you put in your name first and last capitalized yesterday or earlier when you went to that it'll add Ed website and created your profile. Okay, so I've got my password in there. Logging in. Ta da! So I've successfully logged into my AET website. You're going to notice a few different things on this website on our dashboard. So as soon as we log in, we've got our dashboard. We have our profile, our journal, finances. We really won't look at it all. Uh, reports. Uh, this is going to be something that we can look at when we make our. Uh, journal entries and things of that nature and then a journal of course we'll use right now i want us to go to our profile so go ahead and click on your profile uh, you have a few different options here those of you that are going to be working with a with ffa then we have some of these activities here we can upload resume information but right now what we're going to look at is managing and editing our personal profile so i log in go to profile and I go to manage or edit my personal profile. I want to make sure that everything is correct. So right now, from what I filled in on the ILAG website, I'm at 92% completion, which is great. My goal is to get to 100. So I want to get 100% to this basic profile because the FFA website then uses this information for categorizing their stuff. Um, so I can go into my demographics, I can edit that, mailing address, contact information, parent and guardian. Uh, if you can, just choose one of your uh, parents, one of your guardians, and put that information in there. I'm going to go into demographics, shirt size. They don't need shirt size. Gender, I don't have an answer. Um, you'll see if I force an answer, if that changes my percentage, and it does. So I can come back in here. Um, since you do have to choose one, just choose whichever you identify with. Uh, so whichever gender you identify with, go ahead and use there. Let's see if I leave that as no answer, but then I answer here. Let's see. Nope. All right. So it is linked to the gender. All right. No answer, not disclosed. Okay, cool. All right, so unfortunately, you guys do have to do a gender. Uh, so again, just do whichever gender you identify with. That is fine with me. Um, so this basic profile uh, information needs to be at 100%. And then just the personal contact information, if you can, awesome. Uh, just make sure you have at least that working email address in there, which you already do because you set up the account. All right, so then you are good there. And that is setting up your profile.